It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and these are our 2021 readings by sign. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Please remember that I do have courses over at Gumroad, and I always leave all that information in the description box below. So what I'm doing here is I, even though I'm not an astrologer, I'm just using the signs to break down into smaller uh, groups of people so that I can read and uh, we will see what is coming up for you in 2021. Let's get started. Hello Aquarius, let's see what's going on for you for 2021. I'm gonna start out with whatever kind of messaging is coming, ooh, is coming up for you guys. <laughs> and then we'll get to some cards. Um, it is your time. It is, um, it doesn't guarantee a perfect year, okay? Everybody wants to hear, uh, me too. I wanna know that it's gonna be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not going to be perfect. It's not about that. Um, that spirit you have, this, what it feels like is like for many of you, depending on how old you are, for a lot of you, your entire life, you've kind of suppressed maybe some certain aspect of you. And then it's just like you get plugged in. You get plugged in, you, you come to life. There, this could be a great time of very fertile ideas. Some of you who are worried about fertility. I wish I had a solid answer about that. Obviously, a general reading is not going to pertain to everybody, but it's definitely hit or miss. Definitely hit or miss. Uh, there could be some false positives for some of you out there. So just be ready for that and just go, hey, you know what? It's the weird energy of this year. <laughs> there could be a false positive and that's okay. We'll just keep trying or whatever. So that's for some of you out there. But this is, um, I keep hearing a fresh approach, just a fresh new beginning. And that doesn't have to be fresh new beginnings outside of you. And that then defines who you are on the inside. No, it's not outward in, it's inward out. Yes. So for some of you, maybe it doesn't look like much of anything in 2021 on the outside, but man, are you a different person on the inside? You embrace your power, you embrace fortitude. I'm hearing there's lots of fortitude going forward in this year because of everything that you've been through. You've learned to take, take life as it comes. There's that kind of element about it. That's kind of nice and harmonious where it's like, I'm just going to take it as it comes and I'm going to put my energy elsewhere. And boy, some of you might really create something spectacular. Some of you might, um, put a work of art out there. I don't know, um, whatever it is that you want, or maybe you are having a baby and you know, that's <laughs> what you're bringing into the world, but there's a, an open and clear channel for those of you who have good intentions. If you are somebody who's not in your wisdom, if you are very egotistical, this is not going to work for you. This whole reading is probably not going to pertain to you. This would be for people who you've been through your life experiences and you are now settled within those experiences and now your wisdom your harmony your um you know that word fortitude all of that's just sort of coming into alignment and now every choice that you make comes from this wisdom place as opposed to this frantic ego third dimensional ego consciousness kind of place does that make sense but it's exciting <laughs> it's very exciting some of you could be taking a completely different route in your lives now I, I said this to Gemini, I believe, don't be impulsive, okay? I know you're going to feel like you want to be impulsive and just kind of like take a chance. Um, it's weird. It's not like you can't do that necessarily, but you, let's put it this way. You could do that if you're very focused. If you know where you're heading, then go ahead and take that opportunity. But if it's kind of foggy and whatever, make sure you get some more information first. Okay. This is an improvement of uh, some relationships too. There, there are some relationships that could start evening out. But why does that happen? Because you're changing on the inside, okay? You're not taking things the way that you used to. It doesn't mean fighting, but rather you find a way through a situation, out of a situation, someone around you has a growth moment, okay? Coming to peace with a lot of things. All right. I want to keep shuffling here. All 
I'm seeing snowy. I don't know what this is. I'm seeing like a beautiful snowy scene. Um, you know, it, it, in one kind of vision of it, it seems like it's like, <laughs> again, this is really weird. And I don't know what it means, but um, there's like nature and just like being out in like the snow and there are like animals around and it's really beautiful. And then there's this other thing where I see a wedding taking place. Like someone's getting married outside in the snow. Um, I don't know why that came up, but anyway, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what's happening here. Meditate and contemplate new moon and Pisces. So that is getting in touch with those inner feelings, right? And that, and that inner shift that will be occurring for you. And um, I don't know if that's going to pick up on the mic. We have a windstorm. I live in Colorado Springs. We have windstorms all the time and it crunches my apartment. Yeah. Oh yeah, that happens. <laughs> but anyway, this is you getting in touch with your true feelings on something. But I think this is definitely saying this is your method of channeling that inspiration is through meditation. And when that inspiration comes through, contemplating how you might want to bring that into the physical. And you'll know how. Don't worry. You'll know what is needed. But again, if you're coming from a very egotistical place, it's not going to work for you. All right. The answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. So clarity is coming, but that clarity comes through the meditation and the contemplation. And, you know, you could be of two minds. That's Gemini. You could be of two minds about something. Uh, part of you, I don't know if you can see that too well, but there are two faces here. One is sort of inward. She has her eyes closed and she's facing the past. And the other one has her eyes wide open and looking towards the future. So that's okay. You will strike a balance here. So there could be some healing around past issues so that you can move forward for your future. What? Is this the same? Oh my gosh, it's the same. Okay, so there's that card that I just pulled. Here's the exact same image. Oh my gosh. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. So here you go again. <laughs> what is your truth? You have to come to terms and balance. So what it is, is some of you, I mean, you know, very dichotomous in your thinking and you know very black or white it's this or it's that and this is the year where you start to harmonize and you start to come together you're integrating but communication is key some of you might be going into a communication uh type profession everybody wants to hear about that maybe but the more important message here is that you communicate the truth to yourself what do you need to reconcile within you yes that is what's going to open your pathway. Okay. And then we have step out of your comfort zone, North Node. This is where you're heading. You're stepping in to your destiny. What was it from Back to the Future? Your density, <laughs> something like that. But, you know, this is following your path and knowing your path and not needing to put some, you know, ego consciousness label around it, but rather feeling it in your heart and following that. Uh, will this be a huge outcome on the surface? It depends on who you are, okay? It depends on what your path is. So, I'm about dropping the deck. I have the color cards right here next to me. <laughs> here is your color card. Bronze, strengthen your body. The number is 14. It's a time of change, okay? It is a time of change, and you are going to have to fortify yourself you're learning to be stronger. You're learning to embrace whatever comes your way instead of trying to fight it. And this is then opening, like I said, those pathways for some inspiration to come in, some realizations to land, what have you. But definitely all of your supposed failures <laughs> from the past, it's just making you stronger. And now it's going to help you. You're going to know exactly how to, when the time is right, to move forward. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.